Hey guys, welcome back to No Kids Shame. It's me, Ella, and today I'm talking about the labels that I use for my project bags. Hey guys, welcome back. I thought I would hop on and make a video about the labels that I use for my project bags because I've had a few people ask about it, so uh, instead of just typing it out a few times, I just thought I'd make a video and then I can refer to it in the future. But I uh, started looking on Etsy for labels for my project bags um, earlier this year, I think, because I wanted to start, you know, putting my name on my products. And uh, I tried a few different ones, but these are my favorite, and I've been buying them ever since. The Etsy store is called Border City Quilts, and it's based out of Michigan. And it is two women who run it. Their names are Christina and Carly, and they are super nice. I've never had any issues with the store at all, and I've bought from them um, quite a few times. <laughs> and um, they always, when you make an order, you type in, like, uh, the font and the little picture that you want on your label and uh, what you want it to say. And then they always send you, like, a preview of it uh, through the Conversations tab on Etsy. And they also ask you, um, you know, if you like it or if you want to change it. And they even make suggestions. Like, she made a suggestion to me once, and I stuck with it. I did it that time, and then that's the same labels that I keep getting reprinted because I like that font better. She, she knew better than what I did. <laughs> This is my latest order. I received it last week, I think. It's in a um, paper bag, and it's got a little sticker on there, and it's the initials to the shop, which BCQ for Border City Quilts. And then you just open it. It comes in a mailer, by the way, and I have a really small PL box, and it fits right in there. So it's, and it wasn't squished up or anything. So let me get it all out here. All right. So the bags are the bags. The labels are in the bag. I get the uncut ones just because they're like four dollars cheaper. I'll talk about that in a second. But I ordered a set of 40 uncut labels. And um, before I've ordered them and they came in a bigger mailer and one solid sheet. But I guess they're trying to uh, cut down shipping. So they actually did like kind of cut these. So that I can um, be a little bit easier for me to work with. But it's just in a plastic bag which is reusable. I will, I will keep it and use it for something else. And they got another one of their stickers on here. And it says under it that's sewn labels. And they have sew on and iron on labels. And I'll talk about that in a second. But I just wanted to show you my labels real fast. <laughs> but they just come on this sheet. And they're printed. And it does, there's paper on the back that you peel off before you sew it on. Or iron it on if you have the iron on ones. And they have these lines. You see them up here and down here. That's where you cut. Like you would cut across here and up here. And I cut off the little edges to make it not, you know, more of a, what am I trying to say? A better square shape <laughs> and then you know you cut down this way through the lines and that's your label right here it folds right here you would fold it backwards and it'd be one of those cute little folded tabs also in uh, my order I always get one of their business cards which is handy because I lose them a lot and it's good to uh, for me to remember when I'm referring to them it's got all their um, emails and links and stuff on the back of it which will be in the description box, of course. <laughs> and then they also get this, they send this thank you card. I'm going to cover it up because it's for people who order. It comes with a coupon code for 10% off your next order. And I use it every time. <laughs> and it's also got their uh, contact information on it. And on the back, it's got um, the instructions for the sew-on fold-over tags and the iron-on ones. So that's handy. And it says down here that it's machine washable on delicate cycle and tumble dry low. So that's handy to have that, especially if you want to also, like on your items, when you uh, sell them or gift them, you could rewrite some of this, you know, this part down here, onto a label for the people who buy your stuff so that they know that they can wash their, the product without the label messing up. The labels that I buy are the, um, the flat foldable fold over <laughs> labels and you can pick sew on or iron on i like the sew on just because i feel like it's a little bit more secure than the iron on even when i buy iron on ones like in the past i would usually sew over them also just because i'm afraid the iron on ones might peel off the regular set that i buy is 40 uncut and they're 16 dollars plus shipping if you pay to have them pre-cut it's a little bit more it's instead of 16 dollars for 40 it is 25 for 40 but um, that's just a time saver, and I've actually done that before. But um, usually just to save a few dollars, I will just get the uncut ones and just cut them myself. I will either use just scissors to cut them, or I will lay it out on my cutting mat and use my rotor cutter to uh, get good crisp edges. <laughs> if you get the flat um, labels instead of the fold-over ones, which the fold-over ones are the ones I like. I just think they're, I just like the way they look. But the flat ones, you get for the same price of 40 
fold over ones, you get 80 flat ones for $16. And then if you get them, them to cut them, cut them, <laughs> they're uh, $25. So it is a better deal. You get more quantity of them, but I just like the way the fold over ones look. So it's really just personal preference, I guess. They have a bunch of really nice fonts that you can choose from. If I can think about it, I'll pop up a picture of the fonts that they have. And they also have quite a few little um, cute decorations that you can put on there. I don't know if you could maybe get your own on there. Uh, maybe you could communicate with them and see if you have your own little logo that you can maybe, maybe they can make. I don't know. But I always just get the heart because I think it's cute. And um, hearts are like generic, universal <laughs> symbols, you know. It's all, it's easy to use that for anything. But yeah, I just wanted to make this video real quick. They're not sponsoring anything. They're not giving me anything. I'm just wanting to, I've had nothing but good um, encounters with them. So I wanted to just pass it along. And I love helping uh, Etsy shops that are similar to mine, you know, that aren't big giant corporations making tons and tons of products and tons and tons of items. They're just people at home making stuff to make extra money. I love supporting that. And truthfully, I always search on Etsy when I'm looking for anything. I search in Tennessee first, uh, local to me. And then if I can't find anything in Tennessee that is what I want, and then I search all of the United States first because I want to help people that are around me. And then if I still can't find anything, then I, I can go ahead and unselect, unselect anywhere <laughs> and put it to where it's just all over the world. But I do like to try to help locally first. And um, I couldn't find a good label maker in Tennessee that I uh, wanted to use, so I went ahead and chose this one and it's up in um, Michigan and every time I order it's super fast I think she has a two-week turnaround but it's always within that and when she does ship it it I get it in two days so it's super quick and um, like I said I've never had anything but good experiences with them so if you're needing labels for your sewing projects I'm not sure if these would work for crochet I might try that one of these days I'm like it would be cute on amigurumis because a lot of toys you know stuffed animals have tags on like their butts and stuff so, uh, it'd be worth a try to uh, do it. You'd probably just have to hand sew it on. But, um, I think they're awesome. And if you want to, check them out. And, um, yeah. They're just cool. <laughs> so, thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you think someone else will like it or the Etsy shop that I talked about, share this video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.